Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge in spring development. Our viewer is trying to figure out how to accept two different subclasses, Web Device Info and iOS Device Info, using the same endpoint in a REST controller. Let's dive into the details of this question and explore the attempts made to solve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To create a single endpoint in a Spring REST controller that accepts both web device info and iOS device info, we can utilize polymorphism. Let's start by defining our endpoint. In this method, we will accept the superclass device info as the request body. This allows us to handle both subclasses in one method. Next, we will check the type of the device info object using the instance of operator. This will help us determine which subclass we are dealing with. If the object is of type web device info, we can cast it and proceed with the registration logic. Similarly, we do the same for iOS device info. Finally, we should handle cases where the device info is neither web device info nor iOS device info, logging an appropriate message. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle two different subclasses with the same request mapping, you can use Jackson annotations on a base class called device info. This allows for proper deserialization based on a type parameter in the JSON body. When a request is received, the JSON body is deserialized into either iOS device info or web device info, depending on the type specified. You only need one at request mapping method to handle the registration of devices. Inside this method, you can check the instance type and register accordingly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle two different subclasses with the same request mapping, you can use the at path variable annotation. This allows you to specify the type you want to deserialize based on the device type parameter. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can use the same at request mapping for different subclasses, but you need a way to differentiate them. This can be done using the params argument in the request mapping. For instance, if you have a POST request to register a device, you can specify different parameters for Android and iOS devices. Just add an extra parameter to your request with the key device, and Spring will route it to the correct method based on the value. I 
hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.